What's going on, guys? Stress here, 221B Tactical. Today, we are talking about Molly and the PAL system and how do you attach items to something like a plate carrier using your Molly. So uh, I'm going to show you what people do quite often, uh, maybe because they don't know, and then I'm going to show you the right way to do it. Right now, we have a lot of people getting body armor and plate carriers, uh, and uh, they're buying mag pouches and other things for their plate carriers uh, and all their gear. Uh, these are people who don't have any uh, law enforcement or military experience sometimes, uh, but this is a common mistake that uh, I've seen, and uh, so I'm going to show you what it is. So most people, when they get their pouch, right, you have the straps here uh, that go down here. And what they do is they take this and they basket weave this through the plate carrier. So for here, this is the plate carrier. I'm going to just tuck this out of the way here. And you're going to see that what most people do is just kind of basket weave on the uh, plate carrier. So what they'll do is they'll come in here, they'll weave here uh, underneath this one, and they'll go over this one, and then they'll go underneath this one here and they'll come out over here and when that's out they'll take it and snap it to this snap here and they, they'll think they're okay and they'll think oh well that you know that's my molly uh system and i'm in there and i i did the weave and i just snap that so let me snap this down here so you guys can see how weak it is all right so got a good snap there but the problem here is that when you're attached, I'm going to turn this over, you'll see that you have a lot of play here, right? A lot of play. You can see I can even put my whole hand back here. And the issue comes in is if this snap pops, then you have a lot of flap, right? Because this thing is flapping uh, in the breeze, okay? You don't want to do that. A lot of people do that. They think, oh, oh I'm, I'm kind of basket woven in there, and uh, you're, you're not good. So what you have to do when you're utilizing Molly is you not, don't only utilize uh, this right here, but you actually got to utilize this webbing on the back here as well. So I'm going to demo uh, what you're supposed to do uh, with this one here. And if you see here, this one is done in that same way and you could in the way it's supposed to. And you'll see here that you can't put your fingers through. There's no gap there. It's woven through the molly on the front and the molly on the pouch itself, okay? So I'm gonna show you really quick how that's done. So you're gonna start off in the same way, right? And you're gonna put it through that first one. But then after you put it through that first one, you actually go through the second one over here because that first one matches up to here. So you're gonna go through that second one. I'm gonna peel this up with my finger right there. So you're gonna go through that second one here, all right? And this is actually on the pouch itself. So you put it through there, and now you're through there, okay? Now you skip and you go down to the third one here because the second one is going to match up here, and you're going to go to the third one here. And you're going to have to play with this a little bit, and yes, it is going to be tight, but it's meant to be tight. So you're going to pull that out there. If you want to use a pair of like needle nose pliers to really get a good grip. And once you pull it out on the bottom there, you see I got it out. And you're going to squeeze down onto your snap and get this out of the way. There we go, you guys heard that snap. Okay, so now when you look here on the side, you'll see that the pouch is woven into the plate carrier, but it's also woven through the molly that's on the back of the pouch as well. So now the good thing is even if this snap comes undone, you see how strong, you still can't put your fingers here, you still see because you have that weave that goes up into back down, up into, back down. So you have that strong weave. It's literally interwoven between the plate carrier and the pouch itself. That's how you're supposed to attach uh, Molly. You're not supposed to just do it through the 
uh, thing you're attaching it to, like the plate carrier. So uh, it's a little bit harder to do. It just takes a couple more minutes, a little bit more time. And yeah, you're going to be fighting with uh, the strap to get it up in and over on the pouch and then back through. You're going to be fighting with that. And like I said, you might need to get a pair uh, of pliers, like a Leatherman, to help you pull it through and then get that snap. But once you do, you're done and set, and that's the right way to do it. So hope this answers some questions uh, for uh, everyone who is buying the plate carriers and buying the pouches and you're new to the tactical space. Uh, listen, I've seen some seasoned uh, law enforcement officers uh, at, at training and they have their uh, pouches on improperly. I don't know if it's because they were too lazy to do it the right way or they simply didn't know. And uh, if you simply don't know, it's okay. Nothing to be embarrassed about. I mean, we're, we're all beginners and uh, at something at some point. So before we become experts, I'm by no means an expert. I was taught this uh, by uh, someone who was in the military, someone way more advanced and more ninja than me. And um, it, yeah, it takes a little bit longer to do, but it's definitely worth it in the long run, especially if you do pop one of those uh, snaps. Uh, it helps keep everything in place. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Remember, watch their hands, watch your six, Get upset. Talk to you